What up, party people? Matt Lehman, the owner of Finder Strip and Vinyl in La Quinta, California, and SpatulaCityRecords.com. So today we are going to continue on with our record cleaning series. Um, if you haven't watched the other videos, please go back and check them out. I'm going through all the different cleaners that you can buy, some that are overpriced, some that don't work, some that do work, some that you might want, some that you might not want. You may have questions, and hopefully I'm answering them. Some people like my videos, some people are not impressed with them, but it is what it is. So. Again, these are my opinions. These are products that I've tried and tested, and then at the end, I usually give the product away on a contest. Today, we are doing the Turntable Lab Record Roller. I have not tried this yet, but I think this product is amazing. I said, I think this product is amazing. Uh, AV guy? Little help? I think this product is amazing. Really? All right. We'll talk about this later. Anyway, turntable. So basically this product is, if you grew up in the 80s or 90s, they had these uh, octopuses that you could get in like coin-op machines and they would crawl down the wall. I think they were called wall crawlers or something. And they also had these sticky hands that, that had a handle and you could slap it across your classroom and take your friend's paper and, and yank it back to you. That rubbery product, is basically what this product is. It's it's gummy, and then once it gets all dirty and filthy, you can clean it uh, with soap and water and roll it down the wall again or, or clean records with it. So it's this is also a glorified lint brush. Uh, let's let's not split hairs here. That that's what this is. But it's a genius idea. Whoever decided that this is going to clean records, I, my hat's off to them. I think this is I think this is going to work, and I think it's amazing. I also don't think that this is necessarily a cleaning product. I think that this is more of a maintenance product. Let me put this here for a second while I yammer on. Um, I think this is more of a maintenance product. I don't think this is something you wanna to use to clean records that you're picking up uh, in the wild, meaning thrift stores or stuff like that that are really dirty. Those still need to be cleaned um, properly before that because you're not gonna, I don't think this is gonna pull out dirt that's stuck in the grooves, um, but it's definitely, I think it's definitely better than this. This is the brush that you run across. I can't do it because of the framing, but when you run your, record across while it's spinning, you're supposed to wipe that and slowly go out. The problem with that is when you do that, the grooves actually act like a sluice box for, for gold panning because all of the material, even though you're supposed to like gently pull it off, all of the big stuff is actually still sitting in the grooves. At least, I mean, you've cleaned 99% of the record, but the 1% right there, there's gonna be a big mound. I don't know if you can see it, there's a big mound of dirt. And yeah, even if you do that, or do it like you're supposed to, like like that, you're still pushing dirt down into the grooves. So I don't I don't like these, and I live in the desert where it's very arid and dry, and we have a lot of static. And these guys work, but they're in the same same vein as this one. They don't they don't get everything, uh, especially like they, they just don't pick up everything. They're they're just not they're just not designed that way. So I think that this one's actually gonna do a pretty good job. You're supposed to put your record on the turntable and then run around it, um, much like you would use these, um, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna run it across here and see what happens. So um, you can see on the before picture, lots of dirt and, and nastiness on this particular record. Uh, this is the lightest smile by Gary, right? So you saw the before, this is the after. Actually, this is the during. It definitely, man, it's, I don't know, this might be considered a cleaning product. I think my only concern with using this as a cleaning product is, is the same thing that I harp over all the time is you really need to clean a record before you do this because, okay, so now I've picked up all this dirt, but you saw I did four or five swipes on it so the dirt that is on here, if it's a piece of grit, when I do that, I'm just running grit across the rest of the record. Um, and now I'm causing microscopic scuffs, which you may or may not hear. Um, it's super sticky for sure. Man, that's, that is impressive. It does a really, really good job. Um, let's try another one. Johnny Van Zandt, here's your before.
I did not clean this, so we'll see what happens after two records. It says you should be able to clean four or five records, I think is what it says. You can clean several records before needing to clean the roller. Uh, I still think you probably want to clean it as often as possible, just again, so you don't have that sandpaper effect, but here we go. Oh, oh maybe too much force. Yeah, I guess you don't really need a whole lot of force. It's it's really really sticky. I mean, it's you can see it's 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 doing what it's supposed to do. Still. Obviously, this isn't taking off uh fingerprints or anything like that. They say keep the tray so you have something to keep it in. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Uh, man, this thing does a really, really good job. This product is amazing. I said it's amazing. I said it's amazing. Hmm. Cute. Anyway, um, I will not be giving this one away. I will be keeping it because I don't like these guys. Uh, I think this is totally worth it. That this is twenty bucks on Turntable Lab. Um, again, I don't know that I would use it for a cleaning, for for a shortcut for cleaning records. Occasionally, I will because sometimes I'm lazy and I don't want to. Um, and my records are usually pretty clean. But again, I live in the desert, so they tend to get a lot of dust and and just surface from from playing. So this is this is definitely a keeper in my book. Now you can also pick these up in different forms. There's probably, I think there's four or five different versions of this that I saw. Um, I haven't tried those. I don't, I don't know how well they work. I know that this one obviously works. You can see it. Um, you could also pick up old school lint brushes um, that are, that are again, same. I think they have pet hair cleaners that are very similar to this. All these products do the same thing. They're just a sticky pad that pulls stuff dirt. But so I would totally pick one of those up. Um, I think it, I think it blows these out of the water for sure. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you liked it. Oh, uh, thank you to Jeremy over at Five Acre Dream. He's the one that recommended this. If you have any other recommendations for cleaning products that you want me to try, I'll be more than happy to. The only one I won't try is the uh, the, the vac record vacuum that you, you you plug into your vacuum cleaner. Number one, I don't think I have a uh, vacuum cleaner that will that, that will take that attachment. Um, and number two. I'm sure it works, but it looks like a train wreck. I mean, it looks like it's a lot of work to clean a record. Um, and that's just my opinion. I'm sure it's a great product. Please don't write and harass me or whatever. I, 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 and I don't, I don't want to pay the money for that to give it away. I think it's like a hundred bucks or something. Um, anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks, thanks again for watching. Please like our videos. Please follow our Instagram and YouTube channel. It's all the same thing, Spatula City Records. Website, SpatulaCityRecords.com. All of our records are ultrasonically cleaned before we ship them. Buy nine, get one free. And free shipping on orders of $50 or more. Later.